so this is how Marion has to get in the giant Hummer here. <laughs> People always told me I need someone like you Someone who gets me and someone who's cool, yeah And I like the way you are And now I want it all Holy crap, guys. We, we bought, bought a house. house. Right now we are both kind of uneasy <laughs> because we are so impatient and anxious to get inside. We just went and signed all the closing papers. Talked to our realtor and he said would 4.30 work. It is like 12.30 now and I no. said, we're actually on our way there right now. Let me know when you're coming. So, <laughs> so we we're anxious to get inside here, but guys, there is the house that we just bought. We are gonna go around and show you guys everything as we take another look at it ourselves. This is only like the third time we've stopped by here and we've only been inside one time for how long, babe? Like 12 minutes. 12 <laughs> minutes, yeah. <laughs> Before we even get started showing you the house, um, <laughs> we're just gonna say that we will answer all the questions about the RV and traveling in a follow-up video here. Today, this video is about showing you guys the home that we just bought. So this is the house, guys. This is how it looks from the street here. We obviously need to start by mowing this lawn. <laughs> we need to do a whole lot of landscaping at this house here. It's been empty for a little while. I'm not sure how long, but when we first looked at it um, about a month ago, um, the people had already moved out and everything. So we have a lot of landscaping to do. I love how the Hummer fits perfectly right over there in the driveway. That looks so awesome. Now, that's one thing that we were looking for when we were looking for a house. We needed a long driveway because we really want to park the RV at the house. But I'm not sure if it's actually going to fit up here. I'm going to have to do some measuring. Might have to do some uh, gravel over here or something if we're going to do that. But I'll pick up on that later on because that's, there's, that's another story. So this is a much smaller house than what we were actually looking for. But the market is absolutely insane right now, guys. So we made offers on several houses, much bigger houses on much bigger properties. And then we were like, you know what? Let's buy this one right now because it was in our range. We caught it the day it was listed met up with the people, looked through it real quick, and we were like, sold. There is so much room for curb appeal at this little house here. Like, look at all of this that can be landscaped here. I absolutely love this. Look at the front yard, this corner over here with the enormous rock. And then we got another corner over here. Look at the tree. Look at that awesome tree right there. We are just surrounded by awesome trees. I think this is funny. There's a regular mailbox right over here. And then as we come up on the porch, there is an old antique mailbox here. Look at this. This is awesome. This is the kind of thing that I would buy from like Goodwill and resell on eBay if I were still doing that. So we'll go in in just a little bit here, but obviously we've got the garage over here. This is a kitchen window. This is another kitchen window right here, which has space for a little table in there. There's a little entryway there, and this is one of the bedrooms over here. It's a two bedroom house. Another awesome tree right here at the corner of the house. I love these trees so much. So as we come over here, this window here also goes to the bedroom. Then this is a bathroom here and another bedroom in the back. Come around this way and there's another window that goes to that back bedroom. And look at this awesome tree. This thing is huge. The first thing I think of when I see this tree is Stand By Me, how they had their tree house up in a tree just like that. It makes me want to build a tree house right now. So here's how it looks from the back corner of the lot. And these doors here go into the living room. This is like another little sitting room in there that's almost like a little library. If you look directly behind the house, you'll see that there's another house right here. And then down over that hill is the local park. We'll take you down there and show you that park after bit here, but I want to continue with the house first. I want to have my brother tear out this deck and rebuild a new one that comes directly off of the, uh, the living room doors right there instead of having to step down. Even though this deck still feels pretty dang solid, I just, I want it to be bigger. I want it to extend to that end of the house and a little bit more over here. And then here's the view from the deck right here with that awesome tree right there. And it just overlooks um, this 
part of the neighborhood back here that dips down towards the uh, the park. So looking around this way then, you can see we got a little shed back here. It's actually bigger inside than you would think. And then we got this whole side yard over here. And this is actually pretty big over here. This leads all the way up to the front of the house then. And underneath all of this overgrowth and vegetation here, there's actually a stone walkway. You can kind of see it here. We're obviously gonna have to clean all this stuff out, but we got these awesome pine trees here. I just love all the potential for this uh, landscaping in the whole place here. This is gonna be such an awesome house. Here you can see more of that stone walkway. And as we come up through here, there's the little lady. I'm getting the plant identifier on my phone. It's an app. Um, and I'm not exactly sure yet, but I think that you take a picture um, and it identifies like these bushes and those bushes and this one especially. That, that one out there and that one over on the side. It appears that they're both dead. This plant here, the bush, and that one over there. Yeah, I think there's a lot of dead stuff around here that we're going to have to replace. Like I said, we're going to have to do a whole lot of landscaping around here. So, Okay, so let's go on in through the garage here. And I have to say, this is a pretty dang small garage, guys. I mean, I'm sure you could fit one very small car in here, like the Mini Cooper that we just got rid of. <laughs> But, uh, but it's a very small garage. As you can see, the people who were here left some things. We're going to have to go through and clean this out. There's a lot of cleaning that needs done in this house. We're going to go in there in just a second. There's the beautiful woman already starting to sweep. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, that's the garage right there. We got a big mirror right here. There were actually three of these down in the basement, and I'll show you in a minute. And also, this right here... I'll show you what this is in a minute that's sticking out here. It's not a vent. Okay, so let's step up into the house here. This is the kitchen. If we turn left, that goes down to the basement. We'll show you that in a minute here. But this is the kitchen. Easier to see it from this end here. It's like a galley kitchen, which is just basically, you know, stuff on both sides. <laughs> turn it on, babe. The poltergeist is back. <laughs> Yeah, there hasn't been anybody in here for a while, so the, all the water has to work its way through the pipes. There's air in there, so they're all spitting at us. Anyways, so we got this little cove over here where we're going to have to get a little table put in front of this window here. I can't zoom out any farther than I am, but as you can see, we got white cupboards here. Um, stove is going to go. Fridge is going to go. Dishwasher is going to go. We have been looking at all new stuff for in here. Stainless steel, because that's what we like. This will be my bread baking area. That sounds good. And yeah, this actually goes good with uh, the stainless steel. So that would look good um, if my wife can talk me out of wanting to gut this place and replace everything. Trying. So as we come through here, there's the front door. We already got a couple things hanging up here, staking our claim. And this is what the little entryway looks like coming in the front door. We have this tile throughout the entryway, the kitchen, and through the bathroom there. So we're discovering things as we're in here. And what did you just discover, babe? I discovered that there was a garbage disposal that doesn't work. <laughs> So, all that much more reason just to replace more in here. So, let's keep moving here. So, back through to the bathroom here. And we're going to have this bathroom completely redone. But as I said, we've got the tiles here on the floor. And these are like just a, a gray, I think. They're white, but they have just a slight bit of gray in them. This thing's going to go. Some shelving there. And like I said, all this is going to go. We're going to redo the whole thing. Because we just want to shower here. We don't want this tub. Look how tiny this toilet is. It's like a potty training toilet. <laughs> we do actually like this big double set of mirrors here. Um, we thought that it was a cabinet, and it's not. Just a couple of big mirrors, and I do like those, so we might keep those. 
So back out from the bathroom, if we turn right and come back in here, here's one of the bedrooms. And you can see, I mean, it's pretty small. It's 10 by 12, but we got a fan up there. We got a closet over here. And we'll talk about this a little bit later. We're gonna show you in another video in the future here. But I'll tell you what, we were measuring out these rooms and freaking out a little bit because we've already ordered our bedroom furniture and it is gonna be tight. But we will deal with that a little bit later. So yeah, we've got carpet in these rooms. This carpet's coming up. We're gonna replace that with hardwood. And if we go across the hall, this is the front bedroom here. And this one looks a little bit bigger, but it is the same size. I measured it out. Closet on the other end here. And I did come over here and pull up some of the carpet just to see what was underneath. And there is original hardwood floors under there, so that's pretty cool. We could refinish those, but I'm kind of hooked on the hardwood uh, planks that we've already chosen. So if we come back through here and make a right, this is the living room, and this is actually a pretty big living room. So there is not a ceiling light in here, so it's a little bit dark at the moment. But again, we got the carpet down here, which is also going to come up. This down here drives me insane. My OCD is like off the chain right now <laughs> because this fireplace is not centered on that wall. And not only that, but it's not even centered in the area where it is. I mean, look, we got the bookcase beside it and then there's about two inches and then to the wall, there's six inches on that side. What in the world? But anyway, this is a gas fireplace. You can see the little thing down there to turn on the gas. We haven't tried it yet. I don't want to blow up the house yet. And even though I do like the way that this um, front of the fireplace looks, it was somebody else's. So I don't know. We're going to have to redo that in some way. I do love these back doors here. Now, this is just one door in the middle. On the sides, it's just glass windows, but I love the way that that looks, that it lets in a lot of awesome natural light. And then if we open up this door, you'll see where you would step out right on to the deck in the backyard. Now this is an awesome little bonus here. We go through this door from the living room. We have this extra little sitting room here. Lots of windows in here, so this lets in a lot of natural light. And if you look over here, we have a bookshelf. Now, this is where the thing in the garage comes in because if you come over here and knock, that goes right into the garage. This actually used to be the back of the house. You can tell because of the bricks. And this was actually a door that was a back door to the garage. This was a door that was a back door to the house. But at some point in time, somebody decided to build on this little room, and now this will become a little library and sitting room for us. Fill this up with some books, put up some art, get a couple tables and chairs. I don't know about a couple tables, but <laughs> then we can sit here and gaze out the back windows here. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get lucky and see some deer. All right, let's make our way back through here, and I'm going to show you the basement. How are you doing in here, love? Look at these doors aren't even even. Gone. Trash. <laughs> okay, so down into the little dungeon, which I'm going to have to do a lot in here to make this feel like less of a dungeon. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure this is where my office is going to be down here in the basement. So as you come down here, turn the corner, let me get the light on. Okay, we step into what is a partially finished basement. Now, this is where they had those mirrors up that I was talking about. It was almost the whole wall. You can see they've taken those down. This is actually a pretty big room here. And I assume that the girl that was here before was like some kind of a dancer or gymnast or something because we got this bar up here that I probably couldn't get my leg up on if I tried. And this floor is like really soft. It's a really soft material. So I don't know if they were doing tumbling down here or what, but anyways, pretty nice size room. Back through here, we've got another room, and this will probably end up being my office in here. It's actually pretty nice size. This is probably a 10 by 10, 
if not 10 by 12 room right here. We got a closet over here that they just have a curtain. And every time I move this, I expect some kind of a ghost to jump out at me. But there's that. Then if we come back out through here, let's see. It turns those off. Okay, here's lights in here. And here is the other half of the basement. Over here is where the washer and dryer go. They left a washer here and a disgusting sink. <laughs> but uh, we have a washer and dryer that we bought from my daughter. So we're gonna be getting those in here pretty soon. Plenty of room over here to put in some shelving and stuff. I mean, we gotta clean all this up, paint these walls, get this all oh, totally cleaned up and organized down here. And then we got this little extra room here, which has a light bulb up there that I'd have to reach through some spider webs to turn on. But it's just another room for some storage in there if we wanted to put canned goods or whatever. They've got like paint and crap in here. They've left a, uh, I don't even know, telescope, I guess that is. Bunch of stuff down here. You can see there's some shelving over here. And then back here, just, I don't know, probably more stuff that will just go. But of course, it's kind of cool that they left us a scroll saw. I like it, and it came from Sears, so I'll keep it. Oh, look, they left a sander, too. Also Craftsman from Sears. Cool. Extra little cove back in here under the steps. And then that's pretty much it, guys. That is the house in a nutshell. A lot of work needs to be done. A lot of cleaning and painting and new floors, new kitchen, new bathroom. Just get her done and make this our own little home. Our own little love nest. <laughs> We've actually got all kinds of ideas for things we wanna do in here how we want to redecorate, what we want to do with the rooms. But you guys will just have to stay tuned and see what all we do, because you're going to be right here doing it with us, guys. <laughs> and stay tuned for the next video, because we are going to talk about what's in the future for traveling in the RV, and uh, you'll want to stick around for that. So, you want to say goodbye? Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See ya later. People always told me I need someone like you, someone who gets me and someone